Hello and welcome to part 2 of this web development tutorial series on how to develop a dynamic drop down in HTML using MySQL. So in this part we're just going to be creating a basic HTML form which will then which will contain our drop downs and will contain the whole app. So let's go to your create a new HTML file and let's just call it index.html okay just wait for it to load okay let's go and set the title to your let's go set it to phone make and model selector tutorial I'll call it tutorial Okay, then I'm gonna get to delete this div. Okay, so that let's create a title. So a H1 will do, and inside here let's make a phone. Let's make phone selector inside here. Okay, just like that. Now let's create a horizontal rule which is HR. It's a HR tag like that. Now let's go and create an input. So we'll sorry, a label. So go label, and then in between the two the the tags, we'll say phone. Or let's say please select the phone model. Then go outside the label. Enter input type equals. Um, oh sorry no not input select select is a drop down id equals slct make yes make like that and then just don't put anything in between the two in between the select tags now let's go and create a line break so that's br element like so and let's create another label and we'll say please select the phone make oh whoops model okay I see I made a little mistake up here it's spelling mistake phone and it's ugh, spelling's horrible and then make not model so we're first selecting the make and then the model. Sorry about that. Then create another select ID equals SLCT. Now you might be wondering what SLCT is. It's basically select with all the vowels taken out. It's a naming convention. SLCT model. Okay. And then also close that, but leave don't put any anything in between the two tags. Okay. And that's Literally all we're going to do for our HTML document, let's go and view it inside our browser. So that's the result in our browser. So we have a title and just two drop downs which are empty for now because we haven't put any options in. So that's all for this part of this series. Let's move on to the next part where we will be creating the database in MySQL and assigning privileges to it. So I'll see you now.